Hi, this is Dr. Friedlander, and in this uh, demonstration, I'd like to show you CoWriter Universal running in the Chrome browser. CoWriter um, sits uh, up here on the toolbar uh, as an extension. I'm going to click on it, and uh, when I do, you'll see it turns purple, and now I have the CoWriter Universal uh, dialog box that uh, and prediction box that will begin to predict. Words. I'm just going to make the text a little. Eleven ninety nine funds. And so, if I was typing uh, yesterday, you can see that I can even leave out letters, and it's predicting the word. If I need support to read the words, all I need to do is yesterday hover over the word internal yesteryear, and it will read it to me. You'll also yesterday. notice. Uh, the numbers to the left of the word. Uh, if I want to uh, type the word, I can also press the number key on my keyboard. Yesterday, uh, we went. The we we went went to to the the zoo. So you can see. Yesterday, we went to the zoo. That if just a couple of uh, keystrokes. Um, it's able to predict the words and also notice the text-to-speech support um, as well. I'll continue this so you can get an idea of what you can do with it. So yes, I went to the zoo. Um, we we saw saw lions lions. Tigers, tigers, and, and giraffes. And you can see I could spell it very phonetically, and it picks it up. And if I want to, giraffes, it will read it to me. Giraffes. We saw lions, tigers, and giraffes. So you can see how helpful that can be. I'm going to go up to the extension, right click, and when I go to options, this is where I can set all my options. So on the left hand side, this is where I can turn on or off topic dictionaries. <clears throat> topic dictionaries uh, can be utilized when a student's writing on a particular uh, topic. So for example, if the students are reading the book The Hatchet or Catcher in the Rye, I could easily just turn it on by clicking. Or if I know a particular topic, say the students are writing about the Civil War, I can actually start typing and you can see that um, there's some existing uh, topic dictionaries but it will also go out and create a scraped topic dictionary based on information uh, on the web uh, which is uh, which is great I'm just going to I'm not going to load that for now Welcome to the Coriner extension. You can change the pitch, rate, and volume of speech using the sliders below. You can also change how large the main dictionary is. Again, if you're working with younger students, you may want to set this below the 40,000 word list. And I always keep the flexible spelling on. Uh, that's for students that spell phonetically. You can also uh, change how many um, words appear in that drop down and that's at your discretion and you can also change the font that the words are show up in as well as the color and the size of text and um, you can also uh, change the uh, speech engine I found that using the Google US English works best and you can change the text to speech to pronounce words or sentences and then you have all these different um, features the uh, volume, um, the pitch, uh, and and speed, and the volume. So you can do that as well. Um, one of the um, really nice features is this allows students um, who have difficulty with spelling to be supported while they're writing. So take a look at um, CoWriter Universal. I will uh, make a code available for you so that you can use it. 